Starting a YouTube channel can be quite intimidating. We usually get lost thinking about all the gear that you need, or most likely just want. However, if we break it down to the essentials, then there's only three categories that we need to pay attention to. Hi, my name is Jorge, welcome. In this channel we merge creativity and productivity to try to live a more fulfilling life. In today's video we'll talk about the top three items or categories to consider when making videos. Video quality, lighting, and audio quality as well. We'll talk about some of the equipment that I'm using right now to make these videos and also some suggestions and alternative for different equipment as well. Let's get started. To me, this is one of the most important categories of filmmaking, especially if you're focusing on narrative films, like short films and documentaries and feature films as well. There is nothing worse than showcasing your work to an audience and having issues with audio, levels, emptiness, mixing, dialogue, etc. So I can tell you from experience that audio is actually one of the most important things. Invest in higher quality audio equipment, even if it's more expensive than you initially thought. You can start with a simple on-camera microphone, like a Rode Video Micro, for example. Just plug it and go. However, the distance between your subject and your microphone really matters. So you should get your microphone as close as possible, boom it just right out of the frame to get the best possible results. I personally use and suggest you get something like a Rode Video Mic NTG or a D80 D3 Pro. Those are the best sort of entry-level microphones for content creation. I've made a video about the Rode VideoMic NTG, and I also suggest watching Curtis Judd's YouTube channel. He has tons of videos about audio and professional setups and advice as well. Amazing channel, links in the description down below. This category is the second most important and also the least expensive as well. Making sure your videos are exposed properly is key. There is nothing more amateur than underexposed videos that you later try to fix and post and the result is just a grainy and noisy mess. There's lots of affordable options out there, but I personally use the Godox SL150 W2 Lite with the Light Dome modifier. It's good quality, really easy to use, and even comes with a remote controller so I can change the brightness while checking the frame. This is awesome. However, I recommend something less expensive like the Godox SL60W LED light. Those are a great option, they cost a lot less money while still maintaining the overall quality and also come with a remote, which to me is key. There is tons of videos and articles out there on how to use your IKEA house lights or Home Depot lights as your main source for video. However, the intensity or the brightness is not the only important thing to consider. Both the quality and the temperature of the light are important to consider as well. Having a well-lit video but it looks disgusting because the white balance is off is another mark of an amateur filmmaker. Therefore, the easiest and least expensive thing you can do is just to shoot during the day, right next to a window. You won't be able to control the clouds or the weather, but at the very least you get a huge source of light for free and great white balance as well. It's a great option, provided you're willing to deal with the hassles of what it entails. It's up to you. And finally, we arrive at the category that I consider to be the least important. However, it's the category that most people spend their time and money in. Interesting, right? So I'm gonna keep this one very brief. To start, all you need is your smartphone. In fact, the first 10 videos on this channel were shot with an iPhone 8 Plus and a Rode Video Micro. I also made a video on how I use those pieces of gear as well while making videos. Link in the description down below. And honestly, for most people, the video quality is just good enough. However, for me, I can already see issues like over sharpening, the lack of white color gamuts, the lack of eye tracking autofocus and good editing formats. And because of that, I went ahead and got the Sony ZV-1 instead. The camera is not perfect. It has downsides and negative aspects that most people did not mention when it was released. However, for the purpose of my videos, the camera is great. The eye tracking autofocus is just perfect. I don't vlog, I don't handhold it, and I don't shoot for extended periods of time. That being said, I would not be surprised if later this year or early next year they announce the Sony ZV-2 to try to correct all the mistakes of the current camera. So I cannot recommend you buy it, or at least not brand new. Check Amazon and other sources of used equipment. If you find a really good deal or a really low price, then yeah, it's worth it. Go ahead with it. Other cameras like the Sony A7S III and other brand equivalents are beyond the scope of this video which is to start making content, to start creating. 
So I would not recommend investing that much money in camera equipment unless you're a professional working as a freelancer or you have worked in the industry before. But if you're just starting out, it's going to go to waste. Put that money into something more important like lighting and audio and other resources to make your videos better. I'm sure you've seen this all the time. Some big YouTuber telling you that gear does not matter when they own every piece of equipment under the sun. And that is fine. The same goes for very small YouTubers telling you the gear does not matter because perhaps they don't have access to equipment like other people. Perhaps they don't have the same resources. And that is also okay. But here's the truth. You ready for it? Gear matters. Just not at the beginning. The most important thing at the beginning is to get you going, to get you started, to get you created and motivated to keep going. It does not matter if you do it with an iPhone or with an Alexa 65. However, as you make progress, you start to pay attention to aspects of filmmaking that are important to you. So perhaps you start getting gear because it's important to what you're doing or it makes your life easier or it makes shooting faster things like that and there's nothing wrong with it as well and this is not an attack on any types of youtuber or group of people or individual they can do whatever they want it's fine but saying the gear does not matter it's not true gear does matter just not at the beginning all right so now you know those are the main pieces of equipment that I use to make videos like this every day and some of the suggestions that I would give to people starting out that they don't want to spend too much as well. As always, I am really curious to know what you guys think. What cameras are you using for shooting video, if any? Um, are you interested in starting a YouTube channel? And if so, why haven't you done so already? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe and also follow me here on Instagram as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.